What's up guys, today I got a super awesome thing to show you. It is the Aegis Legend Limited Edition Mod by Geek Bakes. Look at this sexy beast right here. It's got the color changing grips on it. Waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, and it floats. You guys hang around, take a look at this one. guys what we got here is the Aegis legend kit it's the limited edition it's a 200 watt box mg alloy it's supposed to be the lightest metal on the market for what it is in this and this mod claims to be indestructible as with the other Aegis legends we know they're waterproof and dustproof and shockproof so let's get this bad boy open and take a look at it all right on the back of the box it describes it's the Aegis Legend, the limited edition kit. Um, it's constructed with the new magnesium alloy materials, which is currently the world's strongest and the lightest metal. Okay, so here it is. And um, we'll just take a quick look real quick at the tank. Here it is. We'll take a closer look at this here in a minute. We'll break it down and actually get it all together and load it up. It is the Alpha tank. It's on this thing. It's got a push button spring loaded open feature, which is pretty cool. It's in the slide open features, but not that one. That's something cool. Along with the tank, it's got a spire glass, which is looks like another bubble glass. The charging cord. silica bag that we're not supposed to eat. Spire O-rings. It looks like some very small screws and another USB cover. I'll show you guys that in a minute. That's what makes this thing waterproof. And it comes with another coil and that one is also a mesh coil. So hopefully this one's got a mesh coil in it. So let's take a quick look at the mod and check that out as you can see this one's the blue finished with a blue stitching on it pretty nice little mod um, this thing stands 90 millimeters tall 54 millimeters wide and 30 millimeters thick as you can tell it's got the 510 pin that is gold plated on the inside and it has looks like a powder coated top maybe looks like powder coated aluminum i'm assuming and here is the rubber plug cover that we've seen a while ago that has the spire and that's what makes it waterproof as you can see down in there really nice tight fit on that and this is leather it looks like it's turning colors with my hand, the heat on it. How cool is that? I didn't know it did that. But anyway, this is some sort of a leather-like substance. I don't know if it's real leather or not. Man, that it's changing colors, but it is pretty cool. It is a die-cast aluminum frame. Looks like around here. This is, appears to be what it's made out of. Like I'm not a metal expert, but that's what it looks like. And it's got a silicone covering that goes all around the outside of it. And on the bottom, it's got the battery door. As you guys can see here, pull it back and open it up. And there's the battery door. As you can see, it's got a waterproof gasket. It's all around here, as well as a seal that's here. Looks like gold plated battery connections. And believe it or not, it does have vent holes in it and it is a waterproof battery case. 
and the reason why that works is you can see these little silicone bubble looking things here they're really soft so I'm assuming that's to blow out in case you do have a battery issue but the battery door is spring loaded as you can see in here so that should be really nice and it's got a battery catch on it when you close it you do have to slide lock it so that's pretty much the uh, the mod itself that's pretty cool the um, the way that battery door's got the vents in it like that and it's still waterproof um, I've seen some other tests that was done on this mod where they run over it with a truck where they um, dropped it in water they've submerged it in water up to here mashed the button and still fired it and and vaped off of it um, it does have really nice clicky buttons I like the way that it's slanted at an angle like that so you can hold it this way or if you prefer to hold it this way you're still going to have a comfortable firing button. Um, this thing is supposed to be able to stand in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes so any guys that's working outside this thing's going to come in super handy you know if you got it in your pocket and it's rained on or whatever if you're in a boat or you're going fishing or spill a drink on it or whatever i like the fact that it's waterproof a lot of the mods has got the charging port that's here on the bottom that's open all the time and it won't take a, a whole lot of water going in there and that that bad boy's toast so that is a really nice feature that it is waterproof dust proof shock proof so like if you work construction or like we do in a shop you know you don't have to worry about the dust and dirt ruining your mod so that's that's an awesome feature this thing is super lightweight. Of course, I don't have any batteries in it. It does take dual 18650s. There's no batteries in it, and then it's an extremely, extremely light mod. I definitely like this thing. So now then, let's jerk this tank apart and take a look at it. All right, guys, let's take a good close look at the tank. Like I say, it looks like it's got an 810 drip tip. It's got a O-ring that's inside of here. Looks like a Dale Run drip tip. That goes in there, fits in there nice and snug. Like I say, the little open feature is really cool on this. I definitely like that. That's pretty cool. Triple airflow ring on the bottom. Nice tight fit. As you can see, it's the 510 connection pin here that's gold plated on the bottom. It is not adjustable, but it is a very nice clean threads on that thing so let's get it apart here's the base section and as you can see inside of here it is a mesh coil that's inside it with organic cotton it's got an o-ring on the top plate and let's get this coil out of here we can take a look at the base of it it's got a, another o-ring on the base and there's the bottom side. It looks like it's gold plated in the bottom as well. Pretty nice and clean in there. It's well, well machined anyway. Let's get this back together. All right, so we'll get this bad boy primed up as you see how it goes back together and comes apart. So for you guys that may be new into vaping or maybe interested in vaping, I'll show you how to prime this thing. We're going to be using the Killer Custard with Honeydew by Vaptasia. The first thing you want to do is go inside of here and prime this brand new virgin cotton up with a little bit. You don't want to put too much, but you definitely want to give it a little good prime in there. Oh, that juice smells good. You don't have to do this on the outside, but I do just so you can kind of get a little head start and you don't have to wait on it as long. But give all your organic cotton on the outside a good dose. Give it a good drink. And let it sit a little bit. Get another little bit on the inside. Pretty good piece of cotton in here. I think it's pretty deep. 
And the next thing you want to do is screw your base section back on there. Make sure your O-rings are like they need to be. You see, open your airflow back up. And on this one, you have push the little top. It pops open. There's the chamber. You don't squirt it in there. You squirt it in the section that looks like a kidney. And juice her up. It looks like it holds about five milliliters of juice, so that's pretty good. So there it is, full of juice. Is I'll show you guys how to put batteries in it. And that way, if you've never used a mod before, you know how to do it. These are 18650s, 2500 milliamps. Um, if you look at the battery, one side has got these little it's got a little disc that's connected in three places one two and three this is going to be your positive end and your solid end is going to be the negative side what i do to make things easier like if you're trying to change your batteries driving or whatever just take you a sharpie and chunk you a plus sign and a minus sign on there and that way it makes it a whole lot easier to see like if you're in a hurry or like I say driving or busy or whatever it just it, it makes life easier and you don't have to sweat it but anyway you just open the bottom of the mod and on the inside I don't know if you can see down in there or not but there's a plus and a minus that's down in the tube as you can see there's a plus and a minus down in there it's also got the same thing up here it's got a plus and a minus so that way you can look up here if you can't see down in the holes but that's pretty cool that they got it down in the holes so a positive side right down in there and the other one's at the negative side and it will go right there and you can see it corresponds with the plus and the minus here push the door closed and lock it down with that. And that's all there is to that. So to turn it on, five clicks of the fire button, one, two, three, four, five. And there's the power setting. And the way this works is you can push the power button three times And it's got it highlighted. As you can see, you can go through the settings here. That's the bypass mode. And bypass works just like a mechanical mod. It cuts out all of the features like wattage mode and voltage and all that stuff. And it gives you straight battery just like a mechanical mod. And you still have the safety features. Let me get it back highlighted again. That's the wattage mode, as you can see, 35 watts. That's temperature control, temperature control stainless. It's got all the settings for temperature control. I don't really know anybody that uses temperature control. I love wattage mode, so that's where I live. I'm sorry, I keep letting it go to sleep on me. And this right here is kind of a curve setting mode. Back to bypass. We're going to get her back to wattage. And you can push and hold that plus and minus button it changes the color there's red green and I like that color pretty well so we'll let it get back out of the uh, well it's in temperature control well let me get back to wattage mode there we go so we'll let it get back off of this screen when that is unhighlighted just like that plus and minus will lock the screen as you see it's got a little lock button the thing will still fire but it won't let you control anything and if you got in your pocket you don't have to worry about it turning the wattage up or down and you can pull it out hit the button and you're ready to vape so we'll go back and unlock it one more time and the lock button's gone as you can see down here it's got your coil which will read the resistance on it when i screw it on there the voltage the amperage and the puff counter so 
Let's take our coal and screw it on the top of our mod. There's plenty of room here, so you'll be able to run a lot bigger tank or atomizer, whatever you see fit. And you can see the coil is reading a 0.17. The voltage is a 2.43. No amps, no puffs, because we're not firing it. You control it. I think it goes from 5 watts to 200 watts, the best I remember. 5 watts is the lowest setting. And it goes up to 200. 200 watts on your lower settings you can go by tenths if that's what you're into but we'll take her down here to about 60 watts 65 watts something like that and we'll give her a try all right as you've seen i just put a new coil on here it's saying new coil 0.17 new 0.17 and we're going to tell it yes it's a new coil and it automatically sets the wattage for what the coil is supposed to be that's currently in there so let's try this thing out. all right so now the big thing is we know all the fancy technical stuff we see all the cool features that it's got the leather and the silicone and the aluminum and the waterproofness and the dust proofness and the shock proofness and it's got a pretty nice tank on it for a kit but the real question is how does it vape so let's give it a shot it's really smooth and has a a lot of airflow but it's still got a little bit of a restriction to it so let's try it again It's definitely a more restricted airflow than I thought it would be, especially with as, as big of uh, airflow slots that it's got in it. Um, it's got a good flavor to it. It's a really cool vape off of it. Of course, I'm only running it at 65 watts, but it's an extremely cool vape. It's not a hot vape at all. I definitely like the drip tip that comes with it. It's a nice wide drip tip. The mod is super fast though. It is really, really responsive about how quick it hits. Um, I like the overall feel of the mod. It's comfortable to the hands. I like the fact that I know if it gets dropped in water, it's not going to ruin it. I like the fact that if I knock it off a table, it's not going to destroy it. Of course, it's probably going to bust the glass, but a piece of glass for a tank is way cheaper than a mod because a lot of the newer mods, um, they look really cool, but they're super fragile too. Where this one, it just feels heavy duty, robust, if, if that makes sense, you know. And the profession that I'm in, I feel like this is a really good choice for a box. Um, because of what we do, you know. If, if you're working in a shop and you knock it off your toolbox or whatever, yeah, you're probably going to replace the glass. But like I say, it's a piece of glass way cheaper than mine. I really like the functions and that it's got on it, even though I don't use anything but wattage mode. Um, I do like the fact that you can change the colors on it. That way you can kind of personalize it, you know, to your likings. I definitely like the fact of the buttons, the way they're designed. It's kind of got that little kick out in it. It feels good if you're holding it this way, or it feels good if you're holding it this way. I like the rubberized texture that's on it. You know, I feel like it's it's going to hold up for a long time. I don't think this is going to be one of those mods you're going to have to baby. You can actually use this mod and enjoy it without having to worry about skin scratches and things and, you know, just all the silly stuff that you'd normally worry about with a mod, you know, if, if you spill a glass of Coke or tea over on it, this thing's still going to be firing. It's a win-win in my book. They've done an excellent job when they designed this mod. It's easy to, to read the screen on. It does have a brighter and a dimmer feature that's on that. You can make the screen brighter or dimmer depending on the light situation that you're in. And I really like that because if you're driving at night a lot of times, you can hit the mod and it, it's pretty bright, you know. And, and this one you can dim it down or brighten it up and that's, that's a good plus too. But overall, I definitely like the design of this mod. I like the feel of it. Um, kind of so-so on the tank, but for a kit tank, this thing is awesome. 
it's definitely better than a lot of the kit tanks that come with a mod so I don't know I will let you know in a couple of weeks after I use it for a while and we see how it holds up because that's the real key any tanks good the first day you got it a week down the road is when the telltale truth comes out with a tank so I will be doing an update on this tank that comes with this kit and let you guys know how the coils hold up and how well I like it over time but for now everything seems to be a-okay if you guys are interested in this mod like I say it's made by Geek Vape and it's called the Agus Legend Limited Edition there are several color options as you guys seen in the intro of this video so be sure to go take a look at that and you might like one of the colors that they have better but this is a lighter mod and from what I've seen the limited edition does float so you may drown but your mod will survive so that's always a good thing anyway guys thanks for watching the video I hope you like it and uh, be sure to take a look at one of these because it's a pretty robust tough little mod anyway guys thanks a lot be sure to hit that thumbs up click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed it won't cost you a dime and we'll go take a closer look at a lot of different juices and some more mods tanks rdas whatever anyway catch you guys next time y'all have a great one